Hey, good afternoon. I wanted to follow up um, from my last video, which was uh, a video of the unboxing of this white D104 microphone. Um, but I wanted to go over my entire D104 microphone collection and describe each mic for those of you that were interested in these microphones. Uh, they're all in mint condition. Uh, so given that, I'm going to start with this one. All right, so this is the an original D104 microphone. This actually was restored, but it is um, the original D104 with the uh, the G stand. Uh, all I have to do is I have to put a couple of more decals on this, one at the bottom, one at the top, and I've ordered those. And uh, this is that microphone. It's, it was very popular for, for a long time especially among CV radio operators. Uh, the plain gray bass, the G stand, amplified bass, you see the, the adjustment for the, for the app there. So that's a plain D104 uh, microphone. You see the back of the head on that. Next up we have uh, from 1976, excuse me. Um, this is a gold D104 microphone. And um, this microphone was created for the, well, it was created in a sense for the Browning Golden Eagle microphone, but not really. It was sort of adopted by the Browning community to uh, be a microphone that would match that radio. This is in mint condition, it's like no. And um, you can see that it has a serial number of, ooh, let's see, 08121. And you can see the, the gold, golden eagle on the back of the head. This is, um, I believe it's 18 karat gold plated. And uh, that's basically it, see? So the bottom. And that's the bottom, well, actually the bottom of uh, the mic. And I have the original box too for this mic. So this um, basically is that, is that, it was from 1976, it is in mint condition and you see the, the big brown uh, coil cord and it's actually wired for Browning Golden Eagle, which I have over there, a Golden Eagle CB. And then next I have a, it's a, reno this, a renovated um, D104 microphone. Um, it actually has a, a grip, a black grip on it. See that on here. See it? And it has a, uh, a thing. And then you, um, well, that, that really is, is on the, the actual stem that it's like a rubber grip. And it's painted black at the bottom amplified uh, stand, much though also the gold one was amplified. And uh, see that's a new felt bottom and a black trim on the front and black on the back. And you, you see the whoever restored it put some different kind of uh, nuts on the back. And it has a plain coil, brand new coil cord. So that's sort of a, um, a custom, a customized D104 microphone. Next up, we have the Black Special, is what they call it. Uh, this is also renovated. And it is a, a black base, and it has the silver push bar on the bottom. And um, also amplified, but this particular one has a, a cover underneath the felt that covers up that adjustment. And that has the, the black head, the black... Um, around the, the trim and the sides and the black in the back of the head. Um, so it's a, it's a TUP9 stand, but it's a black special, really. Uh, that was put out quite a while ago. Uh, 
I don't have the exact years on this. I, I need to try to find that information out, although I haven't found that much on the web about years when I did a cursory overview. Uh, this one is the Night Eagle. This particular mic is um, a black microphone all the way across the stem, the base, the nut, well, not the nut, but the, the entire um, outside of the microphone, the, the head, um, and the grill is gold, this nut is gold, the, the uh, sidebar and the clip is gold, and the push bar is gold. Uh, so it's a Night Eagle. Of course, um, this particular microphone was modified to have a, uh, a better fidelity uh, uh, head inside, so that's wired differently in there. But that's essentially the Night Eagle microphone, and as you can see, it's in mint condition. Okay, next is a, the final edition of the a very popular D104 Silver Eagle microphone. This is actually the final edition of that mic. Um, you can see that it's just like a regular Silver Eagle. It's got a Silver Eagle on the back of the head and uh, the entire microphone is silver, polished, and the push bar here. And it's the final edition, which is kind of rare. You, you pay good bucks for that, um, for the most part. They're, they're, they're not easy to find, especially in new condition. And this is the Diamond Eagle. This was the gold-plated uh, version, similar to the Golden Eagle, but it's a slightly different tint. But it's a, um, a Diamond Eagle, and it says Limited Edition. This is also very rare, and it has a serial number of 00024, amplified bass, coil cord, uh, very hard to find, and I've seen them on eBay for $600, $700. Um, I, had to, I actually paid uh, three, three fifty for it, so it wasn't, uh, wasn't bad. It wasn't a bad deal, so I got that. Um, and then finally, well, not finally, but the, the white D104 that I did a, a little review over for, um, for my... Um, the unboxing video, and it's all completely white, except the nut and the trim and the grill and the sidebar. And it's a uh, amplified stand, nicely done by Survivors Radio. Um, and then I have another black one um, that is basically, has no push bar at the bottom. It has, uh, this is customized, it has black on the back of the head, black trim, a black uh, push bar on the side, and it's a G-stand. So this is also a customized, a renovated microphone. Um, and that is it. Um, I actually have every D104 microphone ever put out, every, every lollipop, every version. Uh, the only one that I don't have is what I had one years and years ago was the lollipop with a 10 DA head. I don't have one of those. Uh, maybe one day I'll pick one up. But that's really it for my um, for my uh, microphone, my D104 collection. I hope you enjoyed it, and we'll try to do another video on some other equipment another time. Okay, ciao.